Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 23rd episode of Hunter x Hunter. Last episode, the gang made their way over to the, uh, the Kil Kilawa's estate, family estate. Uh, Zoldic, yeah, that was his family name. The Zoldic estate, I guess, you know, the mountain, the... They got a lot of territory, basically, and a big gate and wall, and it's pretty well defended. We got to see their guard dog, which not a lot of people get past. It's pretty tough doggy, for sure. And, uh, yeah, we got past it, though. We talked to the guard, the gatekeeper. He hooked us up, you know, and he's helping us get there. So, yeah, I think at this rate we're going to meet up with Killua pretty soon. You know, maybe a dozen or two episodes in the future we'll get there. And when we do, Killua will be like, go, Killua, and they'll run towards each other with a big hug and maybe a bro fist or two, and it'll be great. That's kind of how I imagine things go in. So let's just get into it. Three, two, one, play. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot how cool the gate looked. Thing is awesome. Okay. <laughs> So I guess we're just never gonna get an opening, another opening, I guess. <laughs> That's fine, I suppose. It's not a bad opening, but I feel like 150 episodes will probably get hold. <laughs> Look how happy that kid is just on his on his uh skateboard having a fun time and then he got grounded by his parents and he's all sad and probably crying in a corner. Then Gon's gonna have to show up and share his video games with him to cheer him up and it'll be great. You can smile. But do you have a reason to? That's the question. <laughs> We're going to force Killua's parents to accept his new Tomodachi, and they'll just have to be okay with it. Yeah, however long that takes. We're going to see him, we're going to say hi, and then we'll, then we'll leave. A guard's duty. <laughs> That's much better to have an episode about than the dog's duty. That would sound much worse. <coughs> That's the question. I'm sure we'll get an answer eventually. Ooh, the moon. Well, that's kind of you. Better than camping outside. Heavy door. I think Kurapika's a little bit nervous after the door opening. Who are you? Oh, sequent. Like a sequent of events? <laughs> well then. Special, all right. Elaborate. We're used to things not being easy, but... Yeah, we're best friends, but they took him away from me. It's, it's horrible. Yeah, we're always serious. That's not gonna happen. I'll tell you right now, that ain't gonna happen. But it's still worth doing. Bones' mind's not easily changed on things. Well, I mean, you're kind of unconscious, so you couldn't do much. 
But I, I get the point. The regret's still there. Even if it's not really his fault. Yes. We went through the Hunter exam together, so... Pretty big deal. Oh? Okay. You're our best. Nobody likes tests, don't worry, Gil. You're not alone on that. Oh? Uh, oh. <laughs> Is this weighted training clothes? Or... Uh, well, sort of. We're going full Dragon Ball now. <laughs> Uh, no. This is heavy enough. We're in that poor child wear this heavy thing. Wow. The really heavy cup. <laughs> Damn. No wonder the door was so heavy. As everything else is. You don't know these characters very well, clearly. Secret is such a silly name. I'm sorry. I just. I mean, Zebra was too, but. Secret especially. The bathroom door is going to be hard to open, isn't it? It's weighted, yeah. God damn. Uh, he must be strong enough to go to the bathroom. I just have to find a corner somewhere and ask Kurapika to close her eyes and ears. Huh. And yes, I know Kurapika is a boy, but I'm still going to make girl jokes because... Because still the most feminine of the main characters. <laughs> and yeah, you I recognize her from the silhouette and the sh shot in the beginning of the, the episode. God. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess this thing's probably normal for this family, but still. Uh. No, Mom, I'm not going to apologize. Ugh. Gon will make it here. He will help Killua. So he didn't know that before. That's going to make a difference. You're lucky my arms are bound right. He would beat you up. Yeah, he'll do it. <laughs> he knows Gon. Very weird character design for this woman. Like a metal visor. And <laughs> kind of contrast with the rest of it. He'll do it. I love to see that kind of faith in his uh, Aisetsu Tomodachi. Kid's arms are in his sling and he has to wear that heavy thing around him. Well, I mean, if you think you can, go for it. Well, time to watch them fail. It's just always fun. <laughs> I keep 
Keep, keep at it. You've almost got it. I think I see a budget. <laughs> Guess not. <sighs> wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the chairs. <laughs> Okay, just do what you gotta do, I guess. Don't worry, kill him, I will be there in a few weeks, just... Be patient. <laughs> Got in trouble. Lifting those boulders. Didn't know Monday and Matt was part of the show. Still not budget, eh? Well, see, Quint, why don't you help? The only reason I remembered his name is because of how silly it was. And friendship is what, I, what matters most in the Shonen anime. I mean, kill, uh, go and get still help, right? He just he could use his other arm and his shoulder, like he could still help. Well, then what do you suggest? Well, yeah, the whole idea is for it to be teamwork, so we're together as one unit. So maybe they will be able to do it, just the two of them, if they work properly. Come on. Push. I think I hear- yes, I see it, Budget. Oh, <laughs> well then. That didn't go so well. Because you could hear it before you could see it, Budget. That's progress. You may have been falling on your butt, but it's progress. What's our vocabulary word? Push? That makes sense. Test in gate. Back to the manor. Our butler. Yeah, there's some people pushing at it, you know. Just thought I'd let you know. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to let you know. I mean, thought you might care a little bit. Maybe just, maybe just a bit. And why'd you have to tell him? I thought you were on our side. Not that it makes a difference, really. <laughs> Still at it. Stretch those extremely long legs, Leorio. Yeah, that's probably going to make a big difference once you get that weight off. Do a super sand and push it open. And of course, go and still has this on. So how many days have you been at this? Push. 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 Oh, there we go. You're getting it. And then you just gotta put a rock on the ground and keep it open afterwards. I can bet if you put wood in between the doors and then let go and just snap the wood in half easily. If it's that heavy. Here we go. Jones now gotta help with both of his arms. Because it's finally healed enough. We probably have been here a while then. Yep, we need all three of us together to truly get this to work. So as I originally thought, it does need all three of us. I wavered a little bit when they took the 
when they started to talk about the teamwork and stuff and but yeah Oof, there we go. Good job. Wasn't a very graceful landing, but you got in. That's what matters. You know, if you were Paper Mario, that could have been much easier. Just open it a little bit and then just sneak on through. But yeah, good job. You opened a door. Congrats. You, um, you opened an unlocked door. Well, that kind of makes sense, you know, very secretive assassin family. Yes, you've been pretty cool. You know, sea breeze, not so much. They just might. You still underestimate them. Oh? What was he trying to do back then? <laughs> so you attempted to attack. Failed miserably. Yeah, but we do have the power of friendship on our side, so I, I like our chances. You don't have to win completely through violence, you know, we just have to convince them that we're that they should let go and see us, you know. You can't call them unnecessary when you haven't even met them. Oh, is that our uh, apprentice butler that took down Sequin? Well, we're not really trespassing because our friend lives here. And we, yeah, we did that. Well, then give us permission. Yeah, what more do I have to say? Wow. Yeah, then you, we were, you kind of forced our hand here. So, uh, they shall not pass. I think we could take her. Kind of short. <laughs> wow. Go and just, without any hesitation, just walks across the line and takes her hard one to the face as a result. Ooh. Blood. When it showed that camera angle, I thought it was gonna, like, wet himself or something. But I guess he's waiting for the blood to drip. That makes it okay. To do whatever she needs to do. That's totally how it works. Yeah, let's round let's round two of this. See what you got. I got a fishing pole. Ow. But uh we saw the match with the ninja, so <laughs> Gone's pretty determined. Gotta take more than knocking him around a couple times to get him to leave. Somebody's watching. The one the, the one from before. Not gonna stop me from seeing my Tomodachi. Just straight up how it's gonna be. <laughs> Gotta love the enthusiasm. A friend? <laughs> wow. So she does know about Gon. Huh. 
<sighs> Several hours of being beaten up later. <laughs> I guess Leorio and Kurt Bigard can help with this. <laughs> Starting to sweat, I see. Boom. Yeah. I didn't even knock him over. You could have never met going before. <laughs> uh, yeah, th those are like the faces of people that are going to turn tail and run away just because they get poked in the face a couple times. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I crossed the line, I just gotta poke me in the face again. Or has my determination proven too much for you? Yeah, but you you do have a uh, yeah, that. Yeah, so you got feelings, I know it. You know that I should come and see go see Killua. You knew he, he would appreciate that. Okay. You finally got through. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you are bad people. Ah. Uh. Like I would believe whatever you say. Is that what he said? I feel like that's not what he said. Ah. <sighs> It's a sad message, but is it actually what he said, though? Like, it's not impossible that he said that, but... Because, you know, Killua, I doubt he wants Gon to get hurt for his sake, so I can believe he said that. But, either way, we're still gonna go, so I guess at the end of the day it doesn't matter too much. Being a good friend sometimes means knowing when to not listen to what they tell you. But yeah, I definitely got flashbacks to the whole ninja thing when going get getting spending hours getting smacked away with the rod. <sighs> okay that was the 23rd episode of hunter hunter and this episode a very large chunk of it was just about opening the door the testing door which it takes some real muscle to get through that thing for sure we found a nice place to stay i don't know how long we stayed there exactly it must have been several days at the least you know probably weeks but if Goen's arm healed in that time, you know, and they built up enough muscle to push open the door. So you, you gotta you gotta wonder, it's gotta have been a decent amount of time because of that. But uh, yeah, there was a lot of heaviness to this episode, like literal physical heaviness, because we had the door, 
that was pushed open and had the marks and stuff. And Kurapika clearly noticed how heavy the door was from that. And that was foreshadowing how heavy many things would be, like the bathroom door and the cups and the teapot and the vests. So, yeah, you could say it was a heavy episode as a result. But, yeah, go and have a broken arm is still a problem, you know, so we had a way for that to heal up. But in the meantime, everyone was building up strength with our heavy training equipment, which reminded me a lot of Dragon Ball because that was a big thing. We did close. Goku wore those, and he got stronger as a result. And, I mean, they were technically in Dragon Ball Z, too, but Dragon Ball is where the weighted training clothes actually made a difference, you know. But, uh, uh, yeah, I still remember the fight with Piccolo and Goku when he took them off, and... How big of a difference that made! It's like, yeah, it's a real fight now, but uh, yeah, it, it's a good, it's good to use them, you know. So if you can, I don't think they're quite as good an idea in real life as they are in fiction, but I do like the concept in fiction at least. Let's see, I mean, there's not really a lot to say with that. Just. Lirio, Lirio and Kurapika did their best to open the door. They were given some tips that helped the process, but what really made the difference was going and being able to actually help. So, yeah, one thing that was a little bit hard to watch was when we finally got to see what, uh, you know, what Killa was up to, and he's basically strung up and getting beaten and whipped and all that. It just, yeah, hard to watch. It reminded me a little bit of a certain scene from Nanoha, you know, Maho Shoujo lyrical Nanoha. It reminded me a bit of that. You know, I'm sure this is nothing super new to, to Killua. I'm sure he experienced some pretty brutal training when he was younger, so I'm sure it's nothing he can't handle, but still nothing that anybody should have to go through, you know. But he does know that Gon is coming for him now, which is a good thing. Just that was so silly, Leario having like the art, the chairs on his arms and stuff, and Kurapika holding the cups. <laughs> pretty silly. But yeah, pretty messed up family for sure. But, you know, with Gohan's help, they made it through the door. We found out a little bit about C sequence, and uh, apparently he tried to conquer this place before. It didn't work out. He didn't even, didn't even get past the butler apprentice, as sad as that is. And Gohan at least got past them. Not by fighting, of course, but like I kind of I kind of commented on earlier. You know, Gohan doesn't necessarily have to completely violence his way to, to Killua. He could he can just talk to them, because he, he is Killua's friend, so... Let me pull with a heart and that are reasonable people might just let him go or maybe even join him, you know? So I do think he does have a realistic chance to make his way to Killua, you know, with the right circumstances and luck and words spoken. And yeah, that really was a nice little moment there. That flashback showing Killua coming home. And after he did, like one of the, like the, like what he said was basically that he made a friend. I mean, that obviously was a very simple line, but just, just think about it, you know? He, he valued that friendship with Gon so much that he actually thought like the first thing he said upon getting home, like right at the right at the gateway. He's like, "Yeah, you know, I I made a friend. It was awesome." You know, he just yeah, just a lot of a lot can be read into that. You know about how important Gon that whole thing was to him that he just voluntarily brought that up so quickly upon returning home. Because obviously he's never brought a friend home before because he just you just don't do that with this place. But, uh, yeah, we got to see the mom, and she doesn't strike me as a very good person. Not at all. But, yeah. Yeah, you know, Goan made his way to the gates, you know, his determination got to the butler apprentice there. And she was gonna be like, yeah, you know, wanna just come on in, it's, it's fine. And what happened from that? Boom! Headshots from the mom, and that caught me off guard a bit, to say the least. And uh, I wanna, I was thinking, like, is like, is that fatal or is it not fatal? But since it says a family of assassins, I'm going to assume that was a fatal headshot, you know. But that, that just, that wasn't cool, man. That wasn't cool at all. Definitely got to teach some of these people a lesson. You don't just shoot someone in the head because they didn't do their job properly enough. I think it's a bit of an overreaction, in my opinion. But yeah, good episode, definitely. We're making progress, although 
build an uphill battle for sure. But make sure to keep reminding remind the audience of that, that this is very much not an easy thing to dead Gones try in here. And that the odds are against him. But he's going to go for it. Because he's his friend. That's all that matters. So uh, yeah, definitely curious how they're going to deal with the mom. What are they going to say to her? How are they going to handle go uh, Kilo Kilowa's message? Which may or may not be Kilowa's message. It may or may not be an altered version of his message. You know, it's hard to say from this woman because she doesn't exactly strike me as a trustworthy individual. So yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm definitely curious how Gon will handle that, handle her, and what he'll do. Because I don't think it's just going to say, oh, well, I wasn't aware of that. Okay, tell Kilowa I said hi, and then just, you know, head off. I don't think that's going to happen, so... Yeah, looking forward to see how that goes. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.